G'day and welcome back to the channel. When your mate send you something like this, you don't knock it back. So I've just had some brekkie. I'm on my way out to the meeting point now and um, I can't wait for this. This is going to be awesome. This you crazy mother... How cool is this? Absolutely awesome.
Pete, and um, he's not old, but he's an old mate. We've been mates for a long time. What is this thing, dude? Mate, this is a, uh, it's a 1953 Alvis Saracen armoured personnel carrier. It's uh, 10 tonnes, six-wheel drive, four-wheel steer, um, 16 mils of rolled homogenous armour plating. It'll stop a 308. It has a, uh, a Bren anti-aircraft ring at the back here. A 30 cal machine gun up in the front turret. It's uh, powered by a Rolls Royce straight eight petrol engine and it uses pretty much a litre per kilometre and it's a little bit excessive. <laughs> so, as top speeds, oh, well, we cracked 84 today, that's a new record, 84. by the way. That's a new record. A litre per kilometre, you reckon? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit excessive. Um, so, this one belonged to the Gurkhas in Hong Kong, they belonged to their shock, shock troop force. Um, from New or was that the last place it served? Uh, pretty much from New. Oh, I've got records back to 1967, I think it was. Okay. I'm not sure for the first eight years of where it was. Um, but yeah, it's a beast and I love it. I'm turning it into a camper van. Yeah, nice. So, yeah, so, question is, what would make you buy something like this? To turn it into a camper van? I was always one of, the, one of those guys who goes, oh, I want a tank. Yeah. And then you get involved in a club and you find out how involved tanks are and yeah. it's like, I don't want a tank anymore. Yeah. So. so the procedure before we even went for a spin today, there was like so many places you had to check the oil, add oil, check, like in a car, you jump in it and go, yeah. occasionally you might check your oil and water. Yeah. How many did you say levels you got to check on this before you really have to go for a run? So this has, your car's got one dipstick, this thing's got 20 oiling stations. 20 oiling stations. So each wheel has an external bevel and an internal bevel. So there's six. Uh, you've got transmission, you've got gearbox, you've got um, two fluid uh, oil bath air filters. Um, yeah, it's just a bit crazy. It takes about four hours once you get the hang of it, four hours to prepare the vehicle. Oh, and yeah. you've got to check the oil levels every drive, so you can't miss it. You can't yeah. not do it. That's unreal. I'll show you how to climb in. in the driver's seat. So this is the we'll move up. This is our um, this is our turret seat for the for the thirty cal. And that's where we're all sitting up in there before. Yeah. And it just so it pops up there like that. Yeah. And it's not a real thirty cal either, people. No, so don't freak not. out. <laughs> calm down. Yeah. Calm right. the farm. This is how I climb in. So that steering wheel's on the backwards, mate. Yeah, I know boffins from the nineteen fifties. I was thinking 1953, yeah? Yeah. So in Australia, we had FJ Holdens that era. So it gives it a bit of perspective on the technology that this thing has got. It's like, it's just so much more advanced. So these are our hatches. And we can, uh, we can shut our little, yeah. put our periscopes that we can, um, let me just, we can drop our periscopes out. Wow. To put replacements in. If they get shot. If they get shot out. And then we can pull our main hatch shut and lock him off. Yeah. And then these little watcher fingies. So we've got main switch on. Oh, we've got a reverse camera just because we can. Yeah. Look at that. That's sexy. Bit of safety. So we've got our main switch on. Oh, we've got hazard lights blinkers so on now it's a pre, it's a wilson's uh pre-select gearbox so synchro or or um crash i don't know i'm going synchro synchro don't ask me questions about it make me look stupid come on man you're a wingman so um the bands the the brake bands for the gearbox before you start up you gotta adjust those bands i was hearing you pump that before seven times in each gear Really? Yep. I thought you were pumping up the tyres. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's looking stupid. <laughs> How many gears? Seven? Five. Oh, let's pump it seven times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're in neutral. And it's not a clutch, it's a gear change pedal. Right. Don't use it like a clutch, you'll, you'll break everything. Right. And then it's just come over here and just... Rolls Royce straight eight. Rolls Royce, how many cc's? Cubic inches, do you know? How big is it? Uh, 5.7. 5.7 liter, yeah. 350. Nice. Yeah, so there's all our gauges. 
Um, temperature's sweet, loving it. Fuel gauge, come on, bro. <laughs> Work with me. Yeah. So, yeah, you got your, got your thermos down here for your soup. Oh, yeah. Uh, you got your siren. Got a siren, got your uh, your horn and your high beam, low beam under a steel cap. I don't yeah, know. So you don't need your head on it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so do your uh, choke and your accelerator and stuff like that. There you go. That's unreal. Gear pedal up. Handbrake on. Oh, now you get a shot of this one. You love this one. Actually, let me just start it again. Usually you can see the fuel just pumping through. Oh, fuel? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there you go. That's really cool, man. I feel really privileged to have that um, experience too. It's kind of feel honoured to that you'd ask me. I was never going to say no. Only a fool would say no. <laughs> <laughs> really. And we've both got the jackets that make it even cooler. We've got the jackets. So you told me you had to wear, had to wear olive. So yeah, you did. Yeah, that's a nice jacket too, by the way. It is a nice jacket. Yeah. Good mate gave me this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have no words, I don't know what to say, I'm just stoked. It's just unreal in here. Got all these seats for, for dudes and dudettes to come and have a have a ride along. We've got your escape hatches. Yep. It's awesome. This is where it was before. You have to get out of these escape hatches, you're having a bad day. Yeah, I can imagine. Well, that's it from me. Thanks, Pete. Hey. That was awesome. <laughs> I don't know. Like, this is just a mind-blowing experience for me. I love my military vehicles, and this is just way far and beyond. Anyway, dude, thanks again. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey. Cheers.